Well, Iowa Democrats got something valuable to them, potentially time. Now, originally, the Democratic National Committee gave states until today to submit their final plans for how their contest would work in 2024. Iowa Democratic Party officials had asked for more time, and Democratic National Committee member for Iowa Scott Brennan confirmed for me today that the DNC will give the party until June 3rd now to submit the new format to the 2024 caucuses. Meanwhile, the Dallas County Republicans are hosting another presidential candidate May 11th in Urbandale. It's former biotech executive Vivek Ravaswamy. I love the word curiosity. Like, who is this young guy? You know, and we were kidding. Are you old enough to run for president? Well, he is. And uh, he is appealing to a whole new um, younger set, under 30. Um, he's married. He has two small children, so he hasn't been that long out that he's been in school. And a lot of the issues that he's going to discuss on our big events will resonate with the younger crowd. Dallas County Republicans hosted another candidate, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, back in February. It's all part of the plan to host a number of candidates in one of the country's fastest growing counties. Dallas County also could be a battleground county in the general election for 2024. There's so much pressure, good pressure, on getting involved. No longer is it good to stay home. You know, be engaged. And people are, I love the fact that people are very open. Let's listen to everybody. So Asa Hutchinson, Tim Scott, Ron DeSantis, Donald Trump also planning events in Iowa this month. A lot of presidential attention in this state while Iowa Democrats are trying to figure out what, if anything, they can do so that their caucuses can remain relevant for the future. Iowa Republicans already know they're going first in 2024.